Welcome to the Celiac Diva! For all my parents out there, today's episode is brought to you by www.dailyparenttip.com. On to the episode. Everybody. Welcome to the Celiac Diva. I'm your hostess, Lauren Lucille Vassar, coming to you from the gorgeous and covered in snow <laughs> Central Park here in New York City. And as we are celebrating Valentine's Day, you know, I know that for those of us who have celiac disease or if you're not able to have gluten for any reason, it's really kind of a challenge as far as eating candy or what do you do and how do you celebrate. But I kind of want to turn the tables because I think maybe it's also good to spotlight why it's really hard for those that we love who interact with those of us who have celiac disease. So I have a couple of questions for my fantastic husband, Carlos. So what did you, what was your, what did you first think when you found out that I had celiac disease? What we, was your reaction? We were excited. It was kind of funny. Woo! Because, yeah. I mean, we were like, yeah, you have a disease, you know, it's just kind of funny, but why? we're just glad to know after we were just, it's, we knew it was the beginning again. We knew where to start. We just felt so blessed to have answers. Cause you, it was kind of had worn us both down. Yeah. It, it, it's hard on both people. Obviously the person that has celiac disease more so, but yeah, I mean, it just but you knowing, too, cause you'd become sort of a caretaker for me. That's right. That's before right. We found out. Yeah. It just knowing like what's, what's the real issue with your loved one just gave us really peace. And, but then it was a whole new world of what do we do now? So when it kind of set in, okay, now we know it's wrong and now we're getting started. What was the hardest thing for you as somebody living with me about having me going gluten free? Right. Well, we just became paranoid about all things gluten, especially in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, in the kitchen, you know, uh, you know, everything's new. We're trying to learn. Don't let that thing touch this thing. Don't let that spoon. So for us, practically, what we did is we just separated our pantries and food. We even have different refrigerators. Yeah, we give out a for mini peace. fridge. Not that everybody has to do that. No, no. You should definitely like put your gluten food under. But sometimes right. you can have crumbs over places, don't right, you, Carl? Right. Right. So <laughs> exactly. So for us, we just got different refrigerators and keep all of our food separate, and that just makes it more peaceful for us that's how we decided and how has your life changed by us going gluten-free well it's amazing number one you get your spouse back right it's amazing mm -hmm. having Lauren Lucille back being herself and, and not sick I mean it's still a journey of course but so that's amazing um, you know practically I mean you can't go to restaurants as easily you can't do other things as easily but that's just part of living with it and I don't know we're getting better every day so does it make you mad ever the fact that your life has really changed from what you thought it was gonna be no not really I mean I mean, I mean, I guess when you go through the range, maybe at points, you're like, oh, it'd be nice if we could just pick up and go. And, but the alternative is having your spouse just miserably sick or it turning into other diseases, cancer. So really, it was just so thankful just to, to know what it was, I mean, to live it. But, but it's definitely a journey that we're both on. Well, I think you've been an incredible spouse to oh, me. Wow, yeah. You have. I love you so much. And what advice do you have for somebody who's just found out that their loved one has celiac disease or can't have gluten? I would say just get involved and learn as much as possible. And just so you can be an advocate for your spouse. Cool. You know, and, and then just be patient. Just be patient knowing you're just now beginning. It's going to be a journey. There's so many great resources out there. There's so much great community. Like the celiac diva. There you go. I'm a little biased, <laughs> but there you go. So... You know, just 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 get involved in you know just so you can be your spouse's advocate because they're they're not only they're physically still sick but they're also learning all this. You just they're going to need as much help as you can give them. And what can those of us who have celiac disease or can't have gluten? What can we do for you to make this journey easier? Mm, I don't know. Just be patient. You know, like every now and then, like still friends and family or myself will forget and hand uh, learn this still something that's got gluten in it. She's like, uh, guys, that has gluten in it. So just you know, just be patient with them as they're learning as well and. And, you know, like if, if somebody leaves a, something in, in the sink or a crumb there, you know, they probably didn't intend to or whatever, but it was just a mistake. Just an accident. Just an accident. Just an accident. Yep. We're all learning. Everybody's learning. Cool, babe. Well, thank you so much. I love you. You're incredible. Oh, I love you too. And thanks for being with me on this fantastic gluten-free journey. It's a sure. whole new world, right? It's a whole new world. Kind of like this world. park right now. Beautiful. Check this out, guys. Look at this. It's beautiful. Anyway, just wanted to give you... Um, a bird's eye view of kind of what C Central Park looks like and what living with somebody who has celiac disease is like. Thanks so much, baby. I love you.